morning. I am Teacher Yen, your science teacher. Our body is consists of a number of biological systems that carry out specific functions like growth, reproduction, and survival necessary for everyday living. And today, I will discuss a quick introduction to one of our body systems, the circulatory system. The circulatory system is a network consisting of blood, blood vessels, and the heart. This network supplies tissues in the body with oxygen and nutrients, transports hormones, and removes unnecessary waste products. To understand it better, we need to learn the parts and functions of the heart. In anatomy, remember that you are always looking at someone else's body. So in our diagram, this will be the left side and this is the right side of the heart. Both sides are separated by a thick wall of muscle called the cardiac septum. The heart acts as a two-way pump. The right side of the heart receives and pumps the oxygenated blood, while the left side of the heart receives and pumps oxygenated blood. The heart is composed of four chambers. The upper chambers are called the atria, which act as the receiving chambers. The lower chambers are called the ventricles, which act as the pumping chambers. So we have the right atrium left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle. The left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the lungs down to the left ventricle, which pumps the oxygenated blood to other parts of the body, while the right atrium receives the deoxygenated blood from the other parts of the body down to the right ventricle and pumps the deoxygenated blood towards the lungs. Blood moves through different blood vessels. These blood vessels are attached to the heart. The blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart are called arteries. The ones that carry blood back to the heart are called veins. So let's identify first the arteries. We have the pulmonary artery and the aorta. For veins, we have the pulmonary veins and the superior and inferior vena cava. Oxygenated blood passes through the pulmonary veins as it enters the left atrium, while deoxygenated blood passes through the superior and inferior vena cava as it enters the right atrium. Oxygenated blood is pumped out from the heart through the aorta, which is the largest artery, while deoxygenated blood is pumped out from the heart through the pulmonary artery. The heart relies on the four valves to help ensure that blood only flows in one direction. We have four valves. The mitral valve, the aortic valve, the pulmonary valve, and the tricuspid valve. To avoid the overexpansion or wide opening of the valve, tendons called tendinous cords are attached. It holds the valves in place and avoids flopping back while the heart is pumping. These tendinous cords are rooted or attached in the wall of the heart via specialized muscles called papillary muscles. The heart has three layers. First is the pericardium. It provides physical protection and stops the heart from overexpanding. Second, the endocardium. It is the lining inside the heart that ensures smooth blood flow. And last, the myocardium or the muscle of the heart. So let's review again the different parts of the heart. We have the four chambers, right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. The blood vessels are superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, pulmonary artery, pulmonary veins, and aorta. The four valves are tricuspid valve, 
pulmonary valve, mitral valve, and aortic valve. Again, this is Teacher Yen, and remember, your heart deserves to be loved for all the work it does. See you next meeting. Goodbye!